Good morning. Um, I just wanted to talk to you about these little things and uh, these are Wago connectors. Now, uh, this is the first time I'm using them. I've used similar things in the past, um, but they're really easy to install and they're gonna make your lighting and your connections so much better. So I'll show you how they work. All you wanna do is get all your cables to sort of the same length and then snip those off. Then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna strip the ends off. So if we can take about um, a quarter of an inch off the end of the cable, and then once we've done that, all we do is take our connector, a little Wago connector, and there's little tabs on them. So you flick those out, and then those two at the end, as you can see, they're open ports now. So you literally just take your wire, like so, Would help if I was trying to put it in the in the right side. Um, put it in there, in there, and then you just snap the little connector down. Do the same on the other one. There you go. So let's show you that. There you go. As you can see, perfectly terminated. Um, that's nice and solid. It's what they've got is on the inside. Flip that around. There's a little buzz bar. So what it does is it connects those. You can see the copper. I don't know. There you go. You can see the copper at the end and it just makes sure that the copper is touching the buzz bar so that all three connections can go on the same same connection. So we've got obviously three earths going in there. Um, you've got your uh, one coming into this light, that one will be going off the next light um, and then we'll have the one going to the actual light itself. So then what I've got is I've got my little pug light, um, pug light. Um, the cables here, so I don't know if you can see we've got two types of cables the top one has these black lines in it and the bottom one usually has the voltage and stuff written on it now your one with the black lines is going to be your earth so what you need to do is just i don't want that cable too long because um, it's going to have to go up in the ceiling here and when it goes up there i don't want it getting lost at the back too far so i just want enough to get it connected into the loom so i'm just going to snip it off i don't know what that is about what are you gonna say? All right, so we've obviously got the light there, stripped it off. So I'm just gonna separate these cables away from each other. Then you're gonna to wanna to strip them down. I might do these ones, I'm probably gonna double up because this cable's quite thin. So what I'll do is I'll strip that off a little bit further up and then I'm gonna double that back on itself to give me a bit more cable when it connects in to this connector here. So it's about that. I'm just gonna check that that goes in and stays. Yeah, that's perfect. As you can see, it's hanging on that. So that's, that's great. So let's strip the next cable. We'll do the same there. So, twist it around, fold it over. You just wanna make sure that these don't, the cables don't come out the top of the Wago connector so they're nice and insulated. So let's snap that back. The nice thing about these is they're so deep, you can allow quite a lot there. So then all you do is push that back up into the ceiling and they will fit behind there. And then, voila, one, one light fitted. So that's uh, super easy. Um, I hope that's helped you get your lighting done. These are really cheap. Well, I say really cheap. They're about 30p each. Um, if you consider the solder, the heat shrink, uh, the fiddling around with um, solder above your head, plus the fact that uh, a solder joint could go dry, um, you've also got to think of replacing these lights. So later on, you might have to pull them out because the light might have gone dead, you might need to put a new one in. These ones, you literally just open it, put the new cable in, snap it straight on again. So if you think about the longevity of your van, these are really, really useful and they make it really easy just to unclip it and you've got a nice clean wire again. You don't have to do any clean up or get rid of stuff. So I hope that tips helps. Um, enjoy using your way goes and away I go. Have a good day.